Normally, it is my requirement to protect my client's privacy, but it was requested to air this publicly. Here with me now is AEW Tag Team Champions, The Acclaimed, The Guns, and Billy called for this family therapy session. Who would like to begin? I guess that would be me being as I called this, but let's address the issue of when did you two become so entitled and just basically spoiled brats? I mean, you've been brought up in this business. You know how it works. But for some reason, you guys got a little jumpy, a little impatient, and then for some reason, you didn't think that you needed us anymore. Like, the proper thing would have been to do is just to come to me and go, hey, Dad, you know, I think we want to try this on our own, which would have been fine. Because you two were never raised like that. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I forget where you had anything to do with how we were raised. Our entire childhood, you were on the road 320 days out of the year. You missed birthdays, basketball games, football games, you even missed my own graduation. But on the most important night of the Acclaim's career, you showed up. And that was the night they won the AEW Tag Team titles. Everything, and I mean everything, that you're experiencing with the Acclaimed right now is a dream we once had with you. Austin, how does that make you feel? How does it make us feel? It just reminds me of what mom used to say. His blood might make you related, but loyalty makes you family. And you've shown us exactly where your loyalty lies. Yeah, it makes us feel terrible. You were there every day when we were training in the ring. We, I debuted, we debuted together. You were in our corner. That dream of the tag team titles that you experienced with them was supposed to be with us. And you ditched us. We always come second to you your job, the road life, the fans, now the acclaimed. When are we gonna be first? Never. Um, can I say something, please? Please. I'll start by saying this, and I mean this genuinely. I think you two are the biggest pieces of shit I've ever met in my entire life. Yeah. And I mean that. <laughs> but from a human being standpoint, I completely sympathize with that. I'm sure that'd be tough for any kid in that scenario. And I mean that as well. But you guys had the opportunity to mend that. And let's not forget, you guys came to us. You brought scissors to us to become friends, to take over the company, to take over professional wrestling, and that was what we were doing. We spent time on the road together with your dad. We partied in Vegas for an entire week. And you blew it. You had all the time in the world to make up that time that you missed with your father. And the second he showed us a little bit of attention, you couldn't control your jealousy, and you put your hands on him. That's where we stepped in. That's why he adopted the acclaimed. So if you need to blame somebody, blame yourselves. Yeah, honestly, I got no sympathy for you guys. You think you can be the acclaimed, you wanna be the champions, but you can't do what we do. We're the top merch sellers. We're the number one tag team in all of wrestling. We're the most popular thing on the TV show. And you think that this is what got us there? You think it's just Billy or just Anthony or just me? Mm-mm, mm-mm, it's all of us together. And you three together, you would have been fine, but you wouldn't have been what this is now. It's funny. You, you wouldn't have the top t-shirt. Yeah, that's funny well, coming you... exactly from you. We were Who supposed helped to be you? friends. Who helped you when your partner was in a wheelchair? The guns, we showed up for you. Mm -hmm. You would have been yourself. down in the rankings, down in the dumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause you're bum knee, <laughs> cause you're bum knee, but we came to help. We were the ones that helped. And in your raps, you call us ass boys. We were supposed to be friends. And then when you were in the wheelchair and you finally got out, you hit my brother in the head with a crutch and we're the bad guys. We don't, oh, oh, what, oh, it's oh, our fault? Don't reshape history, guys. Yeah, it's that's how, that's what happened. That's, that's what the happened. fans level when you call us ass boys. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get both points, I really do. I just, you guys just took the easy way out. Like, you know, you've been brought up in this business from the time you were born. You know how it works. 
So you guys are passing blame on them. They're not, we're not passing blame on anything. We're just wondering what happened to you two. Like you guys are, you guys are not like that. You were not brought up like that. We're so not why like are that. you we're acting okay. like that? All right, all right, how about this? How about you guys keep having fun? You do your thing, you guys scissor each other, have top merch, and uh, I guess- you're, acting, you're saying like, why are we acting like that? Our faults as sons are your failures as a father. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dude. All right, ho, 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 okay, ho. Okay, hold on. This has to get resolved. This is too much, and I just basically just can't handle this. So what is it that you want? What will make you happy? I mean, that's just plain and simple, right? What do you want, and what will make you happy, and what will kind of smooth this all over? Those. The belts. We want them. 